Hi and welcome back to our channel. My name is Amanda Kerr and in today's video we're going to be talking about my class's trip to McGee Rehabilitation Center in Philadelphia and what it was like being in a wheelchair for a day which is something that my entire class was able to take part in. So to start off talking about McGee, we're going to talk about Keith, who is the main reason we were able to go to McGee in the first place. So Keith came in and visited our class a couple weeks ago and told us about his involvement in the Paralympics and how he traveled the world and was able to see how accessibility varies from country to country, even across the U.S. After he came in and talked to us, we had the opportunity to go and visit him at McGee and he gave us a tour of what it's like there and there are just so many opportunities for people with disabilities who have been injured in order for them to get back into the swing of things and help them find something meaningful to them during such a dark time in their life from being through something so traumatic and there are many activities that are offered at McGee such as they have a greenhouse, they have music therapy, art therapy, and there's a lot offered for those with disabilities in order to help them not only get better, but help them get back into the swing of things. And there was even a room for those who were younger and it was all like video games, Xbox or PlayStation. But it wasn't just a normal one because when there's someone who can't use both of their arms or something of that nature, then there has to be accommodations for them in order for them to play the game. So they had a lot of um, accommodations in that sort of way. And it was a room where they were able to play instruments or do homework, stuff like that. So it, it was just a very nice atmosphere. So McGee, it was just an amazing experience and it really showed m myself and I believe my class as well just what's out there for those who have been injured and are trying to get better and come back into society and some of the struggles they might face. And, and in order for us to get a better understanding of this, we were going to attempt to put ourselves in their shoes in a way. What he did was he split the class up and he made a schedule of when everyone was going in um, wheelchairs and I was the first one to go. This was just very eye-opening because it's like you know that there can be this stigma around those with disabilities but actually witnessing how people react to you when you are in a wheelchair is I found that like to be the most interesting part and people always want to help we went to visit McGee Ruth and Marie were talking about how it's always nice to ask if someone needs help but you really have to listen to their answer and I think that is one of the most important things when offering help to someone with a disability because even though you think you might be helping and you're just trying to be like a nice person they might want to be doing it on their own and it might take them a little longer than it would for you to do something like that but if they're in the process of opening the door and they have just finally learned how to do it they're going to want to want to try and do it on their own. It's always nice to offer help but it's also important to listen to the response in order to make sure that the person with the physical disability feels comfortable with you helping them. If you want to learn more about what we're working on in our class, check out Julia and Caroline's videos from this week. Thank you for watching!